Hello everyone, welcome back to Sinners. I'm here in the main menu because I want to show you that we got an achievement for going to the ball in the ball gown and that achievement has shown itself here in the main menu. I forget to actually show you when it actually pops up in the main menu, but yeah, this is what happens. This, we got that. I want to check our rewards. Yeah, we have that one now as well. Trophy for, um, yeah, look, looking stunning in the ball gown. Um, so yeah, so now she looks like this. I wonder what happens if we get... Okay, so the queen, she'll get that. I wonder where all these other things place themselves. Anyways, we're gonna load the outcome. So this is after the ball. I still can't believe she did it. I would never suspect. Of course, because everyone is just like you and never does anything out of the ordinary or unexpected. Oh yes, I'm sure you were able to foresee this precisely as it happened. Did you see it in tea leaves or written in a children's book one afternoon while avoiding work and being useless as usual? It did enter my thoughts she might do something like this, if you must know, but believe what you want, I don't care. I too suspected she might try to do something unthinkable. She was so secretive and compliant at times. I suppose it could point to an inevitable explosion. I just didn't expect she had it in her. Gloria, please. Sometimes you sound like a cliché villain from a bad romance novel. Of course, if something's not twisted, weird, or shocking, you won't consider it honest. Not everyone is like you, Sophia. I know not everyone is. You're not. Though, you try hard to be like Mother, enacting the same role no matter the situation. Predictable. Boring. But you're not, Carmosa. Remember? You do not lead. You mindlessly follow. And it shows. Shut up, you! Open up! Open up in the name of the prince! This is where we started the game. It's him! Why did he have to come? And in the middle of the night! Will the wonders never cease? I guess this night of change is not over yet. Just as your ridiculous cliché impersonations. There's no time for this now. Though I'm sure Mother would deal with you later. I'll go summon her. You do that. Open up! I won't repeat myself! Mother? Sophia, don't stand like that! Open the door! Let this noisy man in! Yes, Mother. Ah, Captain, what brings you here at this time of the night? Spare me these false pleasantries. You know why I'm here. Where is she? Very well. Sophia, get Cinder's here right away. Yes, Mother. Be quick about it, child. Captain, would you fancy some wine while we wait for my lazy stepdaughter? Don't push it. You know this is not a courtesy visit. I'm afraid a lot is going to change here tonight. I brought cinders. Oh, Captain, good evening. What brings you to our humble house in the middle of the night? Miss Cinders, did you attend the grand ball tonight? I did. Why do you ask? Oh, shouldn't you check how she got there? Surely an almost servant like her had no proper claim to this fancy event. Ladies, please, allow me to do my job. Did you dance with the prince tonight? I did. And did you wear a mask with a feather and slippers made of leather and glass? Yes. What is it about? Show me the slippers to prove you're the one. That won't be necessary. Miss Cinders, I was sent to find you by the prince. His highness has found you the most interesting woman in the Nance nobility. Okay, so I presume if we don't talk to him, like we've never, never spoken to him through the entire game, that when he comes here he might be more like... Uh, you, we have to try the slipper on and stuff like that, like, like the original, because he doesn't know her, but because we have spoken to him, he does know Cinders, and he was able to recognize her, and he's like, no, no, it's okay. I don't know. In the wake of the tradition of the Grand Ball, he would like to discuss the possibility of marriage, if you consent to these proceedings, of course. M marriage I mean, you did very well, Cinders, but is this appropriate? Oh, who cares what's appropriate and what's not? If the prince decided coughing in someone else's soup was fine, we'd all do it. 
but that you impressed the prince so much? Ha! I don't even know what, that you cared about such things, Cinders. This must be some sort of mistake. This girl has been sleeping in a dirty old kitchen for the last couple of years. The prince can't be interested in such a person. Surely you're thinking of one of my daughters. Oh, I assure you there can be no mistake, Miss Cinders. How can I refuse? <laughs> this is a dream come true. Oh yeah, because, I mean, we already made our choice to go with this, so... How can anyone refuse? A life in the palace must be amazing! As usual, you don't understand. What you speak of is like a frosting on a cake. Nice, but it's not what makes this choice what it is. The prince proved to be a fascinating man, and I will try to be a good queen beside him. There's no, there's so much about ruling that I want to learn. May I escort you to the palace then, milady? I'm pretty sure she, she attracted him by being herself. And the fairies were just like, here's the dress. Oh yeah, what's the price though? Of course, Captain. Goodbye, girls. Lady Carmosa. I hope to see you all someday. Perhaps. After you, Captain. There really is nothing one can count on this world. Everything is turning out to be different than what one might expect. How did she manage to do that? Without telling any of us, too? Does family count for nothing? <laughs> uh, no. No, you made it very clear that family does count, but Cinders is not part of that equation, which is why. You all made it very clear that she isn't family. Shut up, you two. How could you not notice a thing? How could you all miss all of the hints as to what she was planning? Because she decided it when you all were gone? And how could you lose to her? Have I told you nothing? Uh, no, no, you really haven't. You've just been a jerk about everything. Where did I go wrong to make you so useless? This. This is what you did. I've clearly been mistaken. But many things. Yo. Your Highness, this is the girl. Thank you, Perot. Welcome to the palace, my lady. I trust the captain explained everything on your way here? Yes, he did. Although it doesn't make it any easier to believe. Needless modesty, my lady. You certainly weren't this bashful making your entrance during the ball. Oh. In that dress, and of course the mask, I felt like I was wearing armor. I was impervious to the looks and judgments of other people. Now I'm back to my old self and, ra self, and rags don't offer the same protection. Suddenly, I feel like an ordinary girl standing before a prince. Ordinary is hardly among the traits you possess, which makes you exactly the person I'm looking for. So, there's nothing more to say but simply pop the question, as ordinary people say. Do you agree, milady? Oh my, is it hot in here? No, I have to ask to be sure. Agree to what, my prince? Do you agree to become my wife and the queen of the realm? You do realize that selecting the right candidate was the purpose of the Grand Ball. Yes, I realize that. It's simply very difficult to believe, but... Oh heavens! Yes, of course I agree! How can I refuse? Very well. You are making me a very happy man indeed. A word of warning, though. I'm expecting my reign to be a rather turbulent one. Not all will welcome the changes I plan with open arms. We'll be facing upheavals, I'm afraid. It means I will be needing support, counsel, and criticism from a strong and independent queen. I'm afraid I'm not really an expert on political matters. I've read some books, but... Oh, I feel so silly. <laughs> Just a few hours ago, it felt like I had it all figured out, and now I'm standing here babbling. I hope you know what you're doing, choosing me for the part, my prince. Right now, I'm nothing but an awestruck servant, girl. I mean, I don't even know you, your highness, and I really have no idea what I'm getting myself into. But for what it's worth, I agree and promise to do my best. Ha! Huh, you worry too much, my lady. Your reaction gives you more credit than you realize. Don't worry, you'll become a great queen. I'm certain of it. A few hours earlier... Blasted liars, mumble. Schemers everywhere, mumble. Naive like children. A 
swear it on me hat here. Y'all gonna pay dearly for all your miss. Oi, easy there, lady. You might give O'Shady a heart stopper. Never getting tired of these big entrances, eh? Always love the good drama, you lot. Never got used to it myself. He can speak to the fairy? Okay. You have entered our domain. What do you want? Easy with the drama already. Don't mean no harm, honest. Just wondering, you see? Whatever happened to the wit little bird that got all you gals so agitated recently? Heard you made some long-term investments in her too. Alright, who is he? Who Who is this shady character? He seems to know a lot about fairy business. You speak of things which do not concern you. They don't. And I thought I did mighty fine a job fetching a whisper and basically being in all the right place at the right moment. Won't dream about stealing the light from you gals, but doesn't a supportive actor deserve some fresh rumors right from the source? Oh, are they using him to make things happen? Hmm. Very well. Know that then that all went well, and the girl picked up the thread of fate where her mother left it. We have renewed the Concord, and the cycle will resume. We found the girl to be much like her mother. She remembered and embraced the gift of the lake. She accepted the weight and agreed to pay the price. Offered her one of your special favors, did you love? Yes. Ha! Huh, you gals are killing me. Be calm at our sanctuary, or we shall speak no more. Oh, poor ma'am. I just have this medical condition, see? It makes me cringe and twitch when I hear wild stuff, and you gals are the wildest. From what I gathered, the bird accepted no weight. Hard to fly with the weight, see? And flying is all she wants, that one. No, my dear ladies, fancy dress or no dress, she would have reached the prince or king or whatever she wanted. Much too driven independent to be intimidated by title, she is. She received our aid and succeeded. Not really, no. She was already a winner when you lot decided to have a little chat with her and then another and mess with her head and dull her wit. But she's much too sharp, that one. Say, ever thought maybe twas her who used you, love? Climbed your schemes that like a lad to reach your own goals? Her blood called, and she responded. She performed rites and honored the lake. She's mature, and see? Memory means nothing then. In time, she'll forget all about you, or take you for a mirage or a dream. Who is this person? No, I'm not so sure if you're real myself. You are mistaken, old man. Memory is everything. She will remember and honor the agreement. She is just like her mother. Oh, poor woman that one, eh? So wise, faithful, and devoted to your way she was. Pity you didn't care that much for her. Some will call killing an ugly way. Some will call killing an ugly way of saying thanks. Not the nicest thing to do to someone who loved you so much, eh, gals? There aren't that many of those around anymore, am I right? Silence. Be gone, old snake. You have disturbed our domain for too long. Oh, impressive trick, just like the olden days. To have some vigor left in you, see? Must have hit your sweet spot. I always wonder, why didn't any of the good kings chop your woods for for forts and houses? Must have something to do with your charm and personality, eh? You are not welcome here. We wish to be left alone. Well, don't worry and save your strength, love, cause soon no one will be disturbing you anymore and you will be alone. All alone. No, what? We got the royal tiara.
achievement. As in the stories of old, Cinder's charms and wits helped her in getting the heart of the future king. Cinder's becomes a mild and gentle queen, known for her beauty, kind heart, and love of peace. A pretty jewel on the royal crown, but not much more. While she is adored by her people, she is not strong or decisive enough to give her husband the support he needs to push forward with his reforms. With the prince Basil unable to realize his plans, the situation in the kingdom stagnates and eventually turns for worse. While Cinders is the wife of the new king and they rule together, love never sprouts between them. Focused on her role, she lives a lonely life among the crowds. There's no space for personal happiness in the existence of a queen. Cinders often feels lost in her new role, but whenever she's stumped, she secretly sneaks out of the palace and comes to the lake to see the fairy seek the fairy's advice. Rumors about the queen's mystical connections and sixth sense quickly spread throughout the kingdom. The court life fully absorbs Cinders, and she loses contact with her own family. Lady Carmosa and her daughters never would visit the palace. From what the young queen heard, the situation in the household turns for worse after her stepmother's bitter defeat. They live their lives in seclusion, isolated from the rest of the noble society. Years later, Cinders and her sisters meet at Lady Carmosa's funeral. They, jo they don't exchange a single word. What do you want to do? I don't want to read it. I'll quit the menu. Okay, so basically we have unlocked a new ending. Alright, and it was basically a sad ending. That was not a good ending. How wonderful. Alright. Well, we got that one. Okay, this is how it looks. For becoming the queen, you are awarded with the royal tiara. Alright, well that ending basically sucked. Oh, okay, but I- okay, so 25% variance found. So I presume that you can become queen, but have differently good roles, depending on- rules, depending on if you like, I guess, if you accept the fairy's help and whatever. Oh, what was this? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, pick ending variants. You can use this menu to review the endings you discovered. Use the panel on the bottom to toggle between the unlocked variants. Pick ending variants. Good queen, no love, fairy advisor. Oh! Okay, so we can be a good queen. Oh. Alright, so we unlock good queen, no love, fairy advisor. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff we can unlock, basically. So we could have done some other advisor. We could have managed to unlock with love. Um, and be a bad queen. And then... There are four other endings! So there are a bazillion endings! Alright. Um, cool. I guess we'll play this a couple more times. I don't know if I can, like, unlock every single ending here, but, um... Yeah. Apparently we'll be playing this a couple more times. I think this, um... If I remember from the Steam achievements, this achievement is for taking back your inheritance. This is for- this is called leaving everything behind. Uh, I think this is like a gr it's called like a gruesome choice or something. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think this is die. One of these is dying, and one of them is a gruesome choice. And I don't know what this one is. Uh, all right. So you can be lots of different queens, have love or no love, and depends on who your advisor is. So taking the fairy advice apparently sucks. <laughs> or whatever. Like, she's a good queen, but... Yeah, it all kind of died. Um... Yeah. Alright, so what do you all think we should go for now? I mean, I'll, apparently we can play this forever, but I might... Uh... Yeah, I mean, we can all... We can, like, if we start over, we can obviously skip the intro and stuff like that, but... Should we try to unlock some more... Queen endings? Or should we try to unlock these others? I presume a one ending is well. One ending is obviously to try to get the inheritance back um, in different ways. I guess. I presume we can go live with Mary and live with Perrault, the guard, guard, whatever. I'm not really sure how we die. 
I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of uh, very interested in seeing how, how how do we die, a gruesome death. How do we die? I don't know. Um, and of course, become queen. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done a lots of different loads. Um, so we could have. Um, well, actually, well, I mean, if you skip all the all the stuff they say, it's gonna be pretty fast to do all the choices again. But yeah, like before the choice with fairy, yeah. Anyways, anyways, all right, that was our first playthrough of Cinder. So, what do you all wanna? What do you wanna see now? What ending should we go for now? What should we try to do? Should we try to die? <laughs> go with Peru, be a different kind of queen, get our inheritance, whatever. Um. What do you all want to see? We can play this a couple times. That's that's fine to get a couple different endings and see how we can do that. I could do some off camera as well just to show like some different variations. But that is it for our first playthrough here when we became good queen but with no with no love and with fairy advisor. So yes, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, what should we, what ending should we try for next? What choices should we do next? <laughs>